Hey everyone, it's Jock's Girl, and it's been a super long time, and I thought I should get on here and make a video. I just got home from church a little bit ago, changed my clothes, had something to eat, and was feeling that I wanted to share something with you guys. Happy October 30th, the day before Halloween. Um, it's been a year. I actually recorded some, some videos, and it was around Halloween time. And then I never posted them and then time went on and I just thought oh, it was too late, forget it. And then I'd make other videos and then never got back on to post them. And anyways, a lot has happened between then and now, but everything good, everything really good. So maybe if I record more videos, I will share some of the stuff with you. But right now, what my agenda is, is to share this one thing. So I looked back on my YouTube and to see if I had a date and I figured I must have had a date of when I started this project and it was it was April 6th 2016 and actually I know I recorded a video but I don't know if I actually started this project on that day and I kind of think I didn't maybe it was like a day or two later or something but anyways I finally finished it <laughs> and I'm so excited if you've been following me for a while, you will probably already have guessed that yes, it is gathering honey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't feel like this was a beginner piece at all. If you are planning to do this one and haven't already started it, I would suggest doing it on an even weave and not an Ada. I personally, I love Ada. I like anything I can stitch on. I've only used even weave and Ada, but I like equal. They both have their place. But I would suggest because of the um, quarter stitches, and it would probably be easier to do if you do it on an even weave. But this one's mine, and it's on a fiddler's cloth oatmeal, I think. Yeah, so I finally got this done. Um, right when the world had shut down and people were staying in, I was working overtime and I had to work actually extra time. They, it was mandatory overtime for us. And so I didn't have time to stitch then. And then the year kind of, you know, went on and I just forgot about stitching or crafting or anything because it was all about sleep and survival mode. And finally, when things started to settle down, I had, I just, it was still just like, put your feet up and relax. It was a very stressful time. Um, then the following year in 21, we were packing up our house and getting ready to sell it in California. We had bought this house in Utah and so moving everything. And um, I know I had a stitching rotation back then and um, I just started moving everything to our new house. And so I only had one project, one. I just kept one out and it was gathering honey, but I didn't work on it. Um, I worked on it a little bit. I would take it to work with me sometimes and if we had some downtime, I would work on it but never much at home because I was getting ready, you know, like always packing, selling stuff, um, donating stuff. I mean, there was just so much going on, getting ready to uh, sell that house. So I didn't get that done. And then the uh, fall of 21, I thought, yeah, I'll work on it. And I think it was like November, I picked it up for a nano minute and then it got put back down. The beginning of this year, 22, I thought I'm gonna work on that. That was a resolution. One month ran into another. I'll get it done for my June birthday. Actually, I thought I was going to, hopefully I was, I was planning to get this one done for my 50th birthday, but that came and went. And so then my 51st, bir 51st birthday came and went. And I'm like, just sit down and get it done. Figure out where you are and get it done. And really, I only had such a little bit amount to do. It was ridiculous. It was just stupid ridiculous. But I finally finished it. There it is. I got it done. Um, Jane, do you remember what day that was? I recorded it for Jane, my last stitch. Hi, Jane. She's my best friend in Denmark. I love her so much. She's been there with me through this. Mrs. Johnson uh, from Instagram. Okay, some of you guys know her as Mrs. Johnson. She's also been following and encouraging. And cowgirl Kate been egging me on or cheering me on. I shouldn't say egging me on, but cheering me on to get this done. And oh my goodness. 
We're in Texas. My, oh, I can't, Sherry, Sherry, Sherry in Texas. And then there's also uh, Taryn. So here is Stitcher. I don't know if you're still on um, YouTube or not. I have not seen you in a while. Hope everything is going well for you, but there you go. There have been some other people who have commented saying that they were going to start this and get it done. And it's a lot of work. It was a lot of work for me. Um, I do notice that there's a lot of women in Russia. At least I think it's women in Russia who get it done. Oh my goodness. Like it seems like, unless I'm wrong, they just like get to work, get those fingers to work. They're, they are amazing. So I wanted to get, um, an antique frame for it and I found this one at an antique store it's supposed to be this way but I'm gonna change the wire to go the opposite way and it doesn't quite fit it correctly but that's okay I don't care I my agenda was to get it framed and with an antique frame so it'll be like that. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy. Um, I may have found a piece of glass. I, sh oh, I wish I had it down here. I may have found a piece of glass. So I went to the thrift store because there are some things that I will spend a sick amount of money on. And there are just some things that I'm like, absolutely not. I'm going to be thrifty. So um, because that has the glass missing or never had glass. I'm not sure. I'm sure it did, but um, I thought, okay, yeah, I can go get one. I'll go pick up a frame from a thrift store with glass in it. And it doesn't matter what the frame looks like. And then if it's not a frame that I want, I will just return the frame basically. So I found this picture. It's beautiful. It's not necessarily something that I'm like, yeah, that's what I want in my house, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful picture. The frame is decent. I just want the glass, right? It's matted inside. It's wonderful. And I noticed um, that they were selling it for 50 cents, just 50 cents because they were trying to get rid of a lot of frames that have been sitting around for a while. I brought it home and I noticed that there's some writing on the back. This is like a famous print. Now, regardless, this is just a print. It's not the actual photo that was taken, but it's a famous one. And oh, it's called Time Traveler. Oh, I can't remember the man's name. Anyways, this photographer in Vermont, Woodstock, Vermont. So if you look at it, if you look it up with just that, you'll find it and you'll see that like, there's a snowy scene and there's this, I think it was an inn and a barn. And then as the photographer was snapping the pictures, this person came by like just perfect timing with a sleigh and a horse. And because it doesn't look like a modern scene, it just fit perfect and it became famous. This picture has a number on it, the number of how many prints that it was. <laughs> Somehow I got like this really cool picture for 50 cents. So now I don't know if I'm going to take it out of that frame. I have to go back and find a new one. So in another video, if I, I promise I'll have to make another video. I will show you guys. And then maybe I'll end up like hanging it up for winter time in the house. I mean, why not? It's beautiful. So time traveler, uh, Woodstock, Vermont. Look it up. But yeah. So I just wanted to share. Get on here and share my happy news. I got something done. If you liked this video and um, maybe if you want to see more, I can show you some of the other things that I'm working on. I've been doing a lot of crochet, taking care of horses and chickens now and my garden. Oh, that didn't go so well this year. Um, but I'm trying to do more of like um, returning to cooking from scratch again like we used to do a lot of. Um, yeah, so if you guys are interested in, you know, if I have some time, some extra time, maybe I can make you guys more videos. But just comment below. Let me know if you if you care to. If you don't, that's fine too. Everybody has their own agenda and their things to do. Today, I just feel blessed to um, be healthy um, and happy. The weather is mild. It's cold outside, but it's mild. And 
I'm just praying that each and every one of you are having a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.